Um, we have Dr. Wes Robertson with us today. Um, Wes is a lecturer at uh, Japanese studies at Macquarie University. But Wes, instead of me introducing you uh, as a colleague, could you please possibly introduce yourself in um, a few words? Sure, thank you very much for having me. So uh, I came here to Macquarie in 2018. I've been working in the Japanese department since that. Uh, I teach our introductory Japanese courses, level one and two. And my research uh, in Japanese looks at questions of how language and identity kind of interact, the way that saying one thing in different ways is uh, a part of how people convey information uh, about themselves or uh, about their feelings, how they're trying to position themselves as well, looking at kind of variation. So uh, I've been doing that research here since I started and uh, moving into kind of new directions recently, looking at how uh, Japanese people in uh, various music scenes actually use language in their lyrics to uh, convey meaning. Interesting. But you have recently received Faculty of Arts Learning and Teaching Award and as we have just learned the other day, you are finalist for the Macquarie Vice Chancellor's Early Career Research Learning and Teaching Award. So obviously there is a lot going on, teaching, research, um, learning. What do you like best about your job? Uh, so I like uh, both teaching and research a lot, but I've been very, very passionate about these introductory Japanese courses that we teach and really trying to make sure that they are of the highest degree and, you know, world class, especially as somebody who perhaps quite obviously is not a native speaker of Japanese. Uh, introductory classes, I think, are extremely important to the future of, of language study, the future of uh, Japanese studies, etc. So making sure that, especially in the current time, our courses are uh, modern, um, up to date, and utilizing online learning resources as best as possible has been something that I'm really, really passionate about. And it's been difficult, but uh, there's a lot of challenges, uh, a lot of learning that goes into navigating those online systems. And so in a way, it's been really, really fun kind of getting better and better at that over time and making our courses more and more accessible to uh, cohorts both on and off campus. Um, can you tell us, is, is that correct? Am I hearing the American accent there? Uh, yeah, I am not Australian. Uh, so I have had students, of course, point out that I spell things a bit weird and pronounce things a bit weird. Um, I have had, uh, Wes has a funny accent as a uh, not uncommon student evaluation. But I've been here in Australia since about uh, 2012, so coming on a decade now. Uh, so quite happy to be here and enjoying it very much. So we have an American in Australia teaching Japanese. Yes, yes. A Japanese, maybe. It's quite, you know, every, everyday occurrence. So Wes, when you're not teaching, or I also know that you make those wonderful resources on our island pages. And when you're not doing research, what do you do? How do you, re how do you relax? What do you do for fun? Uh, so I have uh, a two-year-old, so that's uh, a lot of my relaxation times taken up there. Uh, but I also very much enjoy uh, exercise, what I can do, of course, with uh, the gym clothes, et cetera, right now, but it's an important part of my day. And I also am a gigantic nerd. Uh, I very much enjoy uh, board games, card games, don't have much time for video games these days, but uh, that as well. And I try to keep busy with some casual projects. I run a blog that investigates uh, things like Japanese slang in a casual sense. And recently, as part of my investigation of music uh, and language, I've been running a podcast with a colleague working now at uh, Monash University called Lingua Britallica, where we've been interviewing uh, bands around the world about how they approach um, language and lyric writing and meaning making, especially within the extreme metal scene. Okay, we've been living in this pandemic now for a year and a half. We are currently still in lockdown. Is there anything in particular that you've been missing during the pandemic? I definitely say that uh, just being able to get out and interact with people, uh, as I mentioned, I am a linguist and a sociolinguist at that. So using language uh, with people, watching how people use language has been really important. Uh, I've really, really missed the ability to go to Japan. Um, some of the research I've been doing, I would really like to expand by actually going to Japan and talking to people more directly. But I have been delighted at how uh, things like Zoom, et cetera, have made it easy to contact people and even do interviews uh, with people around the world quite easily. So trying to make it the best of it that way. But uh, yeah, really, um, even just sitting around the office, uh, having coffee with colleagues and uh, talking about the good and the bad of the day-to-day -day is something that I, I certainly miss. And hopefully we can get back to campus soon. And if somebody is thinking now, maybe I should pick up a language and start learning, what would you say to that person? Do it. Absolutely. Uh, 
I hope that I am proof positive that uh, anyone can learn a language, no matter how divorced they are initially from that area. Uh, I certainly didn't grow up with, you know, any Japanese spoken around me, uh, but it's a great thing to do. Uh, the number of doors that learning a language opens for you is massive. No matter what major you combine a language with, that will improve your hiring chances. It'll improve the number of places that you can work and improve the number of places you can go play and improve the, uh, the number of people that you can meet in your industry and talk to uh, or your areas of interest. It's something that I think you can start at any time in your life, move at a pace that works for you. And uh, of course, if you want to study with us at Macquarie, we have top of the line teachers across all our subjects that are happy to help. Okay, then um, to end this interview, can you please teach me something in Japanese? <laughs> well, we uh, just finished uh, this interview. So if I was going to say thank you very much, I would say arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs>